a sin caught on camera inside the sanctuary of a Clarksville church. Police are looking for four women, two of which they say use the power of prayer to rob a woman. The Bible reads, thou shall not steal. The Clarksville police say these women did just that. The one in the front asks if our church member would pray with her that her mother has COVID. And this church member says, well, of course, just a tender widow lady and the girl actually is the one who voices the prayer police say the suspects walked inside the hilldale baptist church during a wednesday evening service asked to meet the pastor then sat near a woman sitting alone they asked to pray together they then walked out using the victim's credit cards within minutes it is so disappointing and shocking when it happens in a church building to um a senior adult widow lady who just came to church early to pray. That, uh, that, that's, that's hard to swallow. Police need the public's help in catching the suspects. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Straight back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all had a very great weekend. Also, my day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. Much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a very touching story. I'm not going to make it long, but I'm going to be strong. Now, this story right here shows you why we say the Church of God in Christ, which is my church, you know that uh, you cannot let everybody pray for you, as you all will learn by the end of the story. Now, I'm sure some of you all may have heard of the story. Some of you all may not have heard of this story yet. But one thing I will say is this right here. Notice a setup when it's coming. You feel what I'm saying? If you're in a church and you're sitting by yourself and you see two helpers come in there, chances are if they're not sitting together, they're plotting. I don't care if they uh coming in there don't even know each other. You know what I'm saying? You have to be careful this day and age. Add your story right here with Illustrate. Now, this story comes out of Clarksville, Tennessee. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Tennessee, everybody in the great city or Clarksville. Now, Clarksville, I will say this. Some people from Clarksville hit me up. They say they do not know these women that most likely these women are from. Yes, you guessed the M-Town, Memphis. So Memphis, I don't know if they're from you all area, but one thing about it, I am sure, look at this face right here. Look at all these tough-ass faces. I am sure that somebody know these helpers. Now, what these women did, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not sure if they're all women. Three of them I know is women, but this woman right here, that does not look like a damn man. Look at that person right there. You know what I'm saying? Look like damn uh Chris Tucker back in the day with a long damn weave on. But I will say this right here. Now, you have to be careful this day and age of what you do. You know, you think that by you going to church, you know, and you go to church to be saved and to escape the devil. You see what I'm saying? But sometimes in these churches, you will run into the devil. And most of the time, it'd be some of the church members that's already in the church. But... You know, lo and behold, the devil do come in sometimes. So you have a 78-year-old woman. Yes, I said it right. 78, because y'all like 78, Trey? Yes, 78. You have a 78-year-old woman sitting there minding her own good damn business, just like that. And alone, four helpers come in. But we only see two of these helpers in the camera. Now, one sit in front of the lady. The other one sit behind the lady. See, they couldn't beat me, because number one, I don't like nobody sitting behind me. Now, 30 of them could have came in the church and sat in front of me. But guess what? You sit behind me, baby. I'm from Houston. I don't know if you're going to try some of me. I don't know if you're going to try to knock a patch of hair on my head or if you think I'm sweeter than bear meat or something. But one thing about it, don't sit behind me. So anyway, one of these helpers sit behind the woman. Then the one like a man sitting in front of the lady going to get up. Yes, get her narrow ass up and then politely ask the woman. I don't know if she asked politely or what, but the devil's not going to come at you mean. He is going to come at you very enticing. Now, the transformer looking person asked the lady to pray for her. You know, and so the elderly lady did. Now, the unbeknownst crook going to tell the old lady that her mom has COVID. And can she please pray for her? They could have been me right there. I'm like, babe, you need to go to the hospital. You need to call TDJ's Creflo Dollar. 
Joe Osteen, somebody else, because I am not capable of doing that. But anyway, so lo and behold, the lady grabs the other lady's hand and start praying for this woman. And then, as show and shit stank, the other lady reach her hand over the pew, go inside the woman's page, take her wallet and some more things, and they hightail out of there. Now, minutes later, like 30 minutes later, the ass was caught on Sam's surveillance camera buying up every damn thing in the damn Sam's store. So if you go into Sam's right now in Clarksville, and you can't find no shrimps, and you can't find no lobsters, these helpers bought them all. But anyway, they racked up $7,000, and the police are looking for these people. But anyway, I'm not going to tear it too long with this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from it, and I am going to get my opinion. All of it. <clears throat> Surely. As we go, 78-year-old woman robbed inside Tennessee church by team. Yes, they said team of thieves, the video shows, not the Trey King show. You know what I'm saying? We don't lie on people. We don't speculate. We speak number what? Yes, fat, fat facts all day, every day. Now, Clarksville police said a 78-year-old woman was robbed while she was praying inside a church. Like I said earlier in the video, you go to church to escape the devil. But sometimes you go to some of these churches, guess what? You will find some of the biggest devils there. And for you people telling people they need to go to church and try to find them a husband or a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, trust me. <clears throat> that shit don't work because I already tried that too. And that turned out to be one of the biggest devils I ever met. Anyway, now according to the police department, the woman was in the Hilldale Baptist Church Sanctuary in the evening when she was approached by the two women. Now, all you good people at Hilldale, and Hilldale is a very nice church. They're like one of those mega churches. You all didn't look around and see like maybe y'all in the wrong neck of the woods, like y'all in the wrong territory, because they did not come in their dress like they was Hilldale material. Let me just say it just like that. Now, after a short conversation, one of the women asked to pray with her. Police said while they were praying, the other woman, or better yet, in the words of Trey King, the other helper, went through the victim's purse and stole her damn wallet. Now, how many of you all ever had somebody steal something from you? Now, how many of you all ever had somebody steal your wallet or your money? I mean, don't that make you want to hook them up? Don't that make you want to put your foot all what we call down south? Yay. Look at the bottom. Y-A-Y. -Y, yay deep in their ass. You feel me? Do not play with my money. Don't play with my honey. Because ain't a damn thing. What? Yes. Funny. Now, Senior Pastor Larry Robinson had this to say because, you know, they be watching. Robinson says, after the police released the surveillance video, other church members said they remember seeing these helpers the Sunday before the crime. And you want me to tell you all why you all seen them the Sunday before the crime? Because they were scoping what we call the joint out. They were trying to see where the cameras was, but lo and behold, it's a good thing that this camera right here picked up because that's camera number four. I'm sure you all have camera number 30, camera 25, so it's cameras all over this building. But you got to be a broke, desperate biatch to go in a church and steal from an elderly lady. I mean, damn, she's already on her last leg, already headed to the upper room. You know what I'm saying? So why would you go in there and do that? And then you would use the power of prayer just for your own crooked perversion. And then you would say that your mom have COVID. Now, sweetheart, I don't know if your mom is alive or not, but you shouldn't speak stuff like that because chances are your mom may not get COVID, but guess what? Your crazy ass, well, you may not survive. Now, I'm not wishing death on nobody because you have to explain yourself on these YouTube streets because you have people say, Trey is over there wishing death on people. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is this right here. If you have somebody come to you and they ask you to pray for them and they say that somebody in their family close to them has COVID and you know what I'm saying, most likely they're not going to make it. They're very worried about them and come to find out they lying only to steal from you and do evil. Chances are somebody will get sick. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how the world works. But anyway, let's finish up. Now, police said there was a group of four women, as you all can see in this picture right here. And one of these women, like a damn YouTuber who owes some damn money. Anyway, there were four women in total in the church with the victim. Three of them were seen on security cameras at a Sam's Club where the victim's credit card was shortly used right after the theft occurred. You know what I'm saying? So you steal the woman credit card. I tell your ass right on over to Sam. That's why I say people in this day and age, if you're grown, you need a damn job. J-O-B. That's the word for the day. Job. Get you a damn job. That way you ain't got to worry about stealing from no damn body. Now, also, Clarksville police are asking anyone with information on these helpers and their whereabouts to call crime stoppers. Now, I don't know if no reward money is issued, but I'm sure that the Hilldale Church will gladly compensate you all. But anyway... The Crime Stoppers number for those who want to call in. This is not snitching. Because what if that was your granny? Or what if that was your ass? Anyway, 
The number is right here, 931. Look at the bottom, 645-8477. And if you can't get that number, call Detective Bradley at 931-648-0656. And also, his extension number is 5159. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about these videos. And if you see these helpers around the Clarksville or the Memphis area or the Tennessee area, do not approach them because they are armed and broke. They will still stink off of shit. Anyway, let me know what you think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great day. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.